The year is 1958. A top secret research project investigating the nature of quantum uncertainty splits the universe into two parallel realities, one with NASA developed technologies and one without. Now, two American families live against their will, one at the forefront of progress and one in a postmodern dystopia. Our story begins with the average American couple. Susie and John Johnson are busy beavers, and the demands of modern life necessitate a good night's rest. Let's check in with them and see how they're doing. Uh-oh. Seems not all as well in the Johnson household. That mattress doesn't look very comfortable. Hours later, they wake up unrelaxed and irritable. Whoa! The missus is quite persnickety this morning. Good luck being productive today, John. <sighs> if only they lived in a world with NASA-developed technologies. Like the Andersons, Butch and Andy also lead average American lives. However, with the influence of conveniences like temper material, they appear to be enjoying their rest. Temper material is a memory foam matching the body's contour, returning to its original shape once pressure is removed. Other than their mattress, temper materials may be found in seat cushioning, furniture padding, and even artificial limb socket lining. With this NASA-developed technology, they'll have more energy for their day. That's the spirit, Butch. Looks like Andy is ready to take on the world. Oh! And now it's time to check back with our not-so-happy couple. What have we here? Taking care of spring cleaning early, eh, Susie? With that big bulky vacuum, Susie is sure going to have a tough time hitting those hard-to-reach spots. Good luck, Susie. We'll come back later. Which is also doing some tidying up. Maybe he'll have more luck than Susie. Butch is using the latest in handheld suction technology. Originally developed for self-contained lunar core sample extraction drills, nickel cadmium batteries provide plentiful portable power for on-the-go homemakers. Other applications exist in the industrial and medical fields, including mobile hand tools, shrub trimmers and grass shears, and even orthopedic instruments. Uh-oh, you missed a spot. Way to go, Butch. You sure showed those dust bunnies who's boss. I wonder how Susie's dealing with her daily duties. Oh my. Looks like she's going to be tied up with this for quite a while. Maybe John's day went better. After a long day at the office, John is looking forward to a relaxing evening at home with the missus. Looks like John's plans will have to wait. How's the fresh air, John? Those gasoline fumes contain many carcinogens, including benzene and other anti-knocking additives. Oh well, at least your wallet's doing better than your lungs. Nope, that doesn't look too good either. John? John? Maybe Andy's ride home was a more pleasant one. Oh, she's already here. Enjoying herself, I see. But how did she get home so fast? Try a state-of-the-art electric car powered by NASA-developed space batteries. NASA embarks on many long-duration missions requiring high-performance batteries operable in the harsh, oxygen-deprived conditions, as famously pioneered on the Apollo manned lunar rover. 
Not only did she avoid a stop at the pump, she saved some hard-earned cash while preserving the environment. And so our story ends. Two realities are presented for you here. Unlike these American families, your world is your choice. Whether it's practical technologies used around the house or life-changing innovations used around the world, NASA-developed technologies are everywhere. For more information on NASA spinoffs, visit sti.nasa.gov today. NASA. Real science. Real people.